Now you may not have heard of the most important thing happening in the world today, but the most important thing happening in the world today is that humanity is looking for a new story, a new myth, a new metaphor. You're about to get on your bicycles and ride to a place called Ground Zero. And it was um, on that place on September 11th, 2001, that many of us became aware for the first time of what I would talk about as myth wars. Now myth war goes something like this. <clears throat> I see you and I see that you and I are sharing this space, sharing this planet. I acknowledge you and, and I see that we have some things in common. In fact, I, I sort of like you. In fact, I think we could, we could maybe even get to be friends. We, um, we seem to have some common challenges, but maybe we could work together and help each other. I, I can see some ways we might do that. I you know we, we share the same planet, share the same biology, drink the same water, breathe the same air, but you have a different story than I do. You have a different metaphor to help provide guidance and meaning to your life. You have a different myth and therefore I have to kill you. Now you may say what kind of way is that to run a planet? But our species has been doing that for the last several thousand years. And humanity is now looking for a new metaphor, a new story to get into the future because the world keeps getting smaller and we keep getting more interconnected. And there are many folks today who believe that the old story and the old myth and the old way of running this planet isn't going to be so healthy for the future. Now my generation didn't quite get the job done. Your parents' generation didn't get it done either. And here you are. And now it's your turn. So like it or not, you're on the front lines. You're on the edge of evolving the new story.